many times like cases like this, people decide not to report or not to make the call for whatever reason. And Naja Sherman's been working on that element because it's not uncommon for that to happen. Nicole Draffin is working on providing a better life for herself and her two children. But first she had to make the decision to leave an abusive relationship. It's like you brainwashed, but you don't know that you are until somebody tells you that that's what's going on. She's living at Sheffield Place. It's a treatment center and supportive housing for homeless moms with young children. 90% of the women who live here grew up in abusive environments. Kelly Welch is the executive director of Sheffield Place. She says there are many reasons people look the other way when they see mistreatment. Sometimes the entire family has skewed expectations and um, because it's generational, it might be that um, their expectation of how you treat a child or the expectations of a child or how you discipline um, across the board isn't what we would accept and isn't what the community would accept. Under the current law, social workers, educators, physicians, counselors, child care providers and police are required to report suspected abuse. Waltz would like to see that list of people expanded to include just about everyone. I mean, to me, when you see it, of course, you should do something about it, but that's really easier said than done because it, you know, you have to follow through. And again, I think we want to think the best of people. Welch says abuse is a cycle that often repeats itself. Those who are abused often become abusers themselves. So saying thank you. So they Draffin broke out of a cycle of abuse so her children can have prosperous lives. Naja Sherman, 41 Action News.